It's always a really exciting time because um, hundreds of thousands of young guys out there looking to get into the academy. You know, the players have done amazingly well to get to this point, but of course their ultimate aim is to come into Nike Academy. You have the chance to change your life over the next three days. The Nike Academy is just a very, very big opportunity. There's nothing stopping you, there's nothing in your way but yourself, really. It's really an experience uh, incredible. I think once you actually get here, it's easier to focus because the time is now. Guys and girls, it all comes down to this. The next three days we will be here at the St. George's Park in England, following the Nike Most Wanted Global Showcase. And what is the Global Showcase? This is the final chance for the best 42 players from all around the world that have made their way here from their local trials. And now it's their last chance to show the coaches and scouts that they have what it takes to take a spot in the Nike Academy. Among the players, we have our two familiar faces, Pontus and Christopher, and they should expect some tough, busy and hectic days. Best of luck. Well done guys, well done. Wonderful. For the three days, it, you know, we're thankful that we've got excellent coaches from around the world. What we ask the coaches to do is prepare these players to get into an 11 v 11 match on Sunday. You know, if you're not fit, if you haven't prepared properly before you get here, you may get found out. You may run the risk of injury or just not deliver on the Sunday when you really need to. It is a physical challenge, these, these three days, no doubt. Go! Stage 33. You're always competing for a spot. You're always competing in case someone's watching. Increase speed. L'exercice le plus difficile pour moi, pour moi, ça a été euh, le yo-yo. C'est un exercice vraiment, en fait, ça met à l'épreuve notre mental. Det var hårt idag men jag fick bäst på spänsten och 30 meters sprinten. Så ja, jag är nöjd. Nu ska jag vila och sen är det två hårda pass imorgon. A facility like this just gets you motivated. And the, like, the level is good of course. It's tough for the coaches I think to pick out the guys who will make it to the Nike Academy because everyone is so good and the level is really high. Iedereen spreekt een andere taal en uh, communicatie is ook heel anders. Sommige jongens kunnen geen Engels en dan moet je met uh, verbaal en non-verbaal mee communiceren. Names are easy to memorize. Honestly, it's been the biggest challenge so far, just the language barrier. But the way of overcoming that is, I guess, learning a few simple words like passe, pass, and rapido, faster. Man såg ju från första träning vilka som var, var de bra och sånt. Quality of the pitches, it's like in the highest level. Like you walk out on the pitches and you think like, oh, oh my god, it's like the greatest pitch I've played at. Whoa, Christopher! Everything has astounded me. You know, the quality of the change rooms, you know, the pitches, the facilities, everything, it's amazing. And also the standard of the trial is incredible. Oh, that's a different level, also, for trainers, really, the the metro. They give you, like, some tips all the time, and you get better every time. It's always fun to show the coaches what I can do. One minute more. Come on guys, one more goal. Well done. Now, the second day for the guys here at the St. George's Park ended with a well-deserved recovery session and tomorrow the most wanted trialist will be divided into three teams before their final 11-side matches. The fourth and the last team in the small tournament is the current Nike Academy squad, but what is the Nike Academy? What is the daily life like for a Nike Academy player? Let's find out. The daily life here is, is like being in the professional club. You train every day. You come to St. George's Park, you train. Every game, every training session, you need to take it like it's your last. You can't take this place for granted. You can't take your position at the academy for granted. We're all cautious because at the end of the day, our spots are up for grabs. There are no guarantees in terms of the duration you stay in the academy. If you're continuing to develop, 
will continue to work with you. If there's someone better or shows greater ability to improve, then they're going to come in and we have to adjust the numbers accordingly. The vibe between the academy, you know, there's a lot of talk and stuff, but we're all confident that, you know, we'll show our learnings on the pitch. I need to keep my position, so I need to play hard tomorrow. We're going to play with four defenders, three midfielders and three attackers. Yeah, we start with this one. I put the numbers and the names there. I don't want a long ball to our striker and our left winger and right winger over there to help each other. That's the most important thing. So the team tactics have finally been set in stone and next up the guys need to prepare for their final and without a doubt the most important session of the weekend. The most wanted trialists are going to play 11 aside games not only against each other but also against the current Nike Academy team. Det kommer bli tuffa matcher och eh, riktigt bra spel och så kommer det bli riktigt kul att möta Nike Academy och vi ska vinna. Is nerve wracking. There's no doubt. You know, it's nerve wracking for the most wanted guys because they've not been here before. You know, they, they don't know what to expect in many ways. Our academy boys have an advantage. You know, they're a strong team. They train here every day and they've been in pressure situations before. They should be more prepared to cope with this than most wanted, but we'll see. Eleven the elevens is very, very important because you have to see how you fit in the team and it also shows you how the players in the trial measure up against the current squad, which is also very interesting. Well, we think it's really important to demonstrate what we feel is the quality of the Nike Academy. You know, if they just played against each other, it's hard to get a gauge of, well, how do they compare with the Nike Academy players who we feel are here? We want to show this is the level you need to get to to get into the academy. You all give your best. Three games in a row, played very well. We were a little bit unlucky that we didn't score, but we played very, very well. C'est sûr que chacun de nous sait qu'à la fin, il y aura une sélection. You're trying to rank 60 players in some form of order that's going to give you a, a, an academy squad of 24 players. The discussions are around who's your first pick, who's your second pick, and there's a lot of people in the room and we all have different opinions. So, you know, over time, you start to make strong decisions on who we think is the right players to come into the academy. Obviously, it's going to be, I think, a very emotional day for a lot of guys. In the end, they have to think about it. Uh, I had a, an opportunity and this is a way to work even harder, so maybe I can have this for the rest of my life. Do it because you want to do it, not because you have to do it. This is the main advice that I want to give to young people. The first player, technically very, very strong, Elias Yagou. I have my name, I have my name light in my head. Ik dacht van wow, wat is dit? En moet ik nu opstaan? Wat moet ik doen? Ik wist niet wat ik moest doen. One more player. Also a midfielder. Rave on the ball. Prepare to take players on. Pontus Armquist. Oh ja, skakken in dan liksom. En sen... Jag hörde att han sa en mittfältare och sen kollade tränaren på mig så då, då visste jag att det var helt sjukt alltså, så jag, jag fattar inte hur ja, jag är väldigt glad och tacksam. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I call a crazy week. Hard work, long days and in the end 10 players joining the Nike Academy. And no matter what, all the guys will go back home with some amazing experiences. Our two Swedish guys did a fantastic job. Pontus will be joining the Nike Academy full-time in the following weeks and Christopher will continue chasing his dreams out in the world. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed our Nike Most Wanted series this year and my question to you is are we gonna see you in the Nike Most Wanted later on and why? Write your thoughts down to the comment section below. Anyways, it's time for me to go now but I'll see you guys later right here on Sport Web TV. I'm out.